Hi guys, let's talk a bit about coming up with ideas on what to draw and what to paint. This can be so incredibly elusive sometimes. I think probably all of us have experienced this from time to time where we just have no idea what to draw or what we're thinking of just sounds completely uninteresting and it is uninspiring. So of course you don't want to draw it. So this is just one of the techniques that I use when I'm coming up with an idea on what to do for a new piece. And hopefully it'll get some ideas rolling for you, some things that you can think about when you're stuck and you don't know what to draw. And it's not some secret elusive idea that's just like mind blowing. It's actually very simple. And that's just coming up with different components and then bringing them together. So combining different ideas, different subject matters or colors or palettes or anyways, I'll, I'll get into that. But yes, combining different things that on their own aren't quite enough to inspire you or to flesh out an idea. But once you bring them together, they become really interesting and inspiring. They can be a new take on something that maybe you, you've thought of in parts of, but now it can take you into a new direction. I love doing this. I love it because I can take different components of things that I'm really inspired by separately and then it becomes something new and I get to play around with that. So the one little example that I am working on right now is this piece that was inspired by the two ideas of painting Snow White, the obviously the fairy tale character, but also combining her with a gothic take of her and the colors and the character design and just bringing those two together turned it into something new and something different. So if I had just just sat down and thought I'm going to paint Snow White, I probably still would have enjoyed it and I probably still would have painted something that is relatively similar to this, honestly. But because I was combining it with the gothic theme, it got my, my wheels turning more. It allowed me to, to think beyond just kind of the automatic that I normally would with that theme. So I think that's part of what makes combining things like this really fun and really exciting is that it does shake things up so that you don't have a single note concept that, that you just kind of autopilot into and you fall back into the same things that you have used as solutions in the past because now you have to find a way to adapt it into something different. Oh, and I did want to say really quickly, the artwork that I'm working on right now is actually the exclusive postcard artwork for the month of July for Patreon. So if you would like to get a print of this piece, the only way to do that is to sign up for the postcard or the package tier over on my Patreon by the end of July. So that's July 31st. If you sign up for one of those by then, then you'll be able to get a print of this piece sent to you in the mail a couple of weeks after the end of July. I am so excited to send these out to everybody. I love how she turned out. So, so yes, there is a link down in the description that'll take you over to my Patreon. Again, this is exclusive for the month of July. So make sure to sign up if you would like this artwork. How I like to usually do it is I like to come up with more of a subject matter concept first. So like this is more Snow White, or I can come up with another mythological character or a character from a story or yeah, <laughs> something like that, where it's telling the main story, it's the main character, it's the main concept of who this person is that I'm painting. Cause I, it's no secret. I like to paint people. I like to paint characters. So I usually start off with a little kernel of who's this character going to be. And then and then I add another component in, which can be something as simple as the specific color palette that I'm going to be using or an art style like Art Nouveau, which is one that I really, really love and get a lot of inspiration from. Or it can be certain composition devices, like making sure that it fits within the role of thirds or, or the golden spiral. And uh, yeah, I find that when I bring in the second component, it really helps me to think more. This is actually advice that I've heard a lot and I love it because the advice seems a little counterintuitive, but the advice is to give yourself restraints for 
for the pieces that you're working on for paintings like this and that by giving yourself these restraints it will force you to open up more creatively it forces you to think more adaptively about what you're doing how you're approaching it and that in a lot of cases having these restraints makes it easier to come up with ideas i have absolutely found that to be the case for me when i have to live around these certain restraints that that opens up so many more avenues for me to feel like I am conquering a challenge and it's exciting. And then that makes me feel excited about working on that piece. I just absolutely love this way of coming up with ideas because it's so almost infinite, really. There are so many ways that you can rearrange the things that you're combining together so that you can come up with so many different iterations of ideas. And it allows you to revisit things that you have painted in the past. I found that that's a mindset that I've kind of had to conquer a little bit where I'll feel that I have already painted something so I can't paint it again or I have to wait long enough to be able to paint it again or readdress that concept. But by following this kind of method, I can take that, take part of that piece that I may have done, say I had painted a Snow White character before, I can take that and then combine it with a new theme, a new word, a new emotion, color palette, and it becomes something new and it allows me to, to feel very excited in this new take and this new way of, of painting it. But it is something that I know I've enjoyed, but it's also not some old thing that I'm bored of at that point either. I also love looking for words that I can combine with concepts. So, or concepts as in like characters or the more concrete things that I am working with when I'm coming up with ideas. So I, I love combining words like mysterious or melancholy or um, atmospheric or misty or ghostly, things like that, where it's just, it's a word, but it has so many connotations or emotions that are tied to it that it starts to put me down different paths where I can think about well what would a ghostly Snow White look like well it would look entirely different from the piece that I painted today it would be something with a different color palette and a different mood and a different execution so even just that right there gives me a new idea of something that could be painted and I think I really, really like this way because every person has a different set of emotions and thoughts around words like these that, that evoke different memories and, and different experiences that we tie to them, different media that we've watched that we tie to them. So, so you personally, your take on that specific word tied with something is going to be completely unique and special to you, to what you can create in that moment. And I find that to be really exciting as well, to know that I can sit down and make something that's so personal. That really gives me that, that kick to keep working on it, to make it. Because that's a feeling that I found that I, I hit a wall a lot of times where I don't know what to draw and I can come up with ideas, but those ideas feel like they have been done to death or I... Even if I've only seen one other artist do it, it feels like, well, now it belongs to someone else, but it's not mine. But being able to combine it with things that are very truly you allows it to be something that you can, can take and turn into something new. I highly recommend that you keep a list or a couple of lists that you can add to at any time that you can put down. Words that you find inspiring, characters that you might see in a show that you want to spark an idea for for a piece later. There are so many sources of inspiration and I find that they rarely happen when I'm sitting down staring at a blank sheet of paper trying to come up with an idea. They usually come when I am consuming other artwork or other media, when I'm living my life, when I'm thinking things and having those lists available to just jot those things down really quickly has been so incredibly helpful. I love being able to sit down and look at my lists. I have a list for words that I think are really interesting and inspire a lot of emotion and 
thoughts that I have about them. And I also have another list of just general ideas of color palettes and characters and poses, that kind of thing, stories that I could show with the characters and being able to look through those and then pick a couple out and combine them and make a piece. It, it feels so exciting to be able to have those resources at my fingertips, but they're resources that I've been creating all along the way. And again, the artwork for this piece is available only as the July Patreon postcard. So if you'd like a print of her, then make sure to jump on that and sign up for the postcard or the package tier over on my Patreon. That is until July 31st. After that, that is the cutoff and you can't get this print anymore. So yes, there's a link down in the description that'll take you over there. And um, yeah, just so you know, the way the Patreon works, everyone gets charged at the beginning of the next month. So that's August. And then I can ship out all of the postcards all at once. So that is when I'll be shipping out this, uh, this postcard. But I love how it turned out. I'm really excited to send it off to all of my patrons. And the original painting is, of course, available at my shop. There's a link down in the description that'll take you over there. And again, the link to my Patreon. And uh, yeah, that's about it for today. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Thank you to all of my patrons. You guys are absolutely amazing. I, I can't thank you enough for all the support that you show me. And that is it. So I'll see you guys next time with some more painting.